Okay, while I was lifting this up here, I hit the wrong button and turned the video off. So I guess this will just be part two. Anyways, to continue where the other video stopped, because I don't have video processing software to just turn them into two of them, on June 11th, 2023, it's now June 26th, 2023, I started an experiment where I put 24 can of lily seeds. If you missed the first video, I just took these out of the seed pot. I put 24 in this container. It's got just normal potting soil and wooden mulch and holes in the bottom for water drainage. I put 24 in pure water in a bottle of water and I put 24 in a mixture with no holes for drainage of water and dirt. And as of today, four of the ones in plain water have sprouted little tap roots. Meanwhile, four here have sprouted above the surface with leaves. So clearly, and although to be fair, it has rained almost every single day, torrential downpours <laughs> since I started this experiment. So if you live somewhere dry, it might not work as well. But this clearly means that just putting them directly into soil and keeping them well watered in soil is the best bet because if these already have leaves, that means they had to have sprouted their tap roots like days ahead of all of the other ones that are just in water. And I don't really want to mess with the soil, but yeah. I think it was this one that just popped up between yesterday and today because I took pictures of these the three that were here originally yesterday so these are what the can of lily seedlings look like and it's just kind of a miniature of what they'll look like when they're bigger they'll get a lot bigger and yeah this was literally just I think I planted them like the seeds are that big so I'm, I planted them like twice as deep as they are big so like just my thumbnail compared to the seed so I planted them that deep and had them cover with soil and then a layer of mulch I don't remember how deep this layer is a pretty deep layer of mulch to help retain the moisture and stuff so yeah I don't remember where I was going with this because the video got interrupted but yeah, canna lily seedlings, canna indica, since that was in the first part of the video, this is the species canna indica, and it's sometimes called canna edulis, and that is not a name of a species. There is no species called canna edulis, that's just a variety, and at this point I don't even know if it is an actual variety or if people just call it that to get people to buy it. But Canna indica, the entire species, all varieties, are edible. You can eat the young shoots, like if these were not seedlings and were just shoots from mature plants, you could eat these. You can. The roots are the main part that people eat. It's sometimes called Queenla Queensland arrowroot. And you eat it like a potato. Apparently you can make noodles out of it, but I haven't tried that because these are my first plants. That's my cat Ronnie. Do you want to come be in the video if you're gonna be loud? He's looking at me skeptically. <laughs> so yeah, these are seedlings, so we're gonna see what they look like when they all grow up. And then probably next year, maybe like fall next year, we will have enough and they'll be big enough that we can eat some of the roots without killing the plant. So you'll have some updates and you'll get some updates as these continue to germinate and get bigger and whenever the ones outside, oh, and the ones I originally put in water since some of them are germinating now and since these ones have done so well in soil, I put all the seeds in a big tray with a lid and some dirt. So. Hopefully they'll start coming up soon, so I'll make a video when those do. Anyways, if you're in Savannah, Georgia, at some point, 
I'll give these seeds or seedlings away for free at Mohawk. No, not Mohawk Lake. That one's boring. Uh, Joseph Triple Park at some point when it's not like 90 degrees outside. So if you want some canna lily seeds and you live in Savannah, Georgia, uh, like, I don't know, comment or something and I will let you know when I'm going to be giving them away for free because it's edible. Hummingbirds love the flowers. It's native to North America and it's just cool. Alright, bye bye.